What's going on all you fantastic freelancers? William here and I hope you all are having a great first day of the new week. As per the usual, we are going over the top tweets of the week from the one and only Mr. Mark Dara, as well as a few others sprinkled in. Many of you will notice that we don't quite have 20 tweets for this week's episode as there are fewer and fewer new questions for Mark to answer. If you all have been around for a while, you know the drill, and if not, these tweets aren't listed in any special order aside from when the tweet was tweeted. Without further ado, let's get into it. Our first tweet comes from Gaming's The Word, who tweets to Mark if there will be PvE content in Anthem that groups larger than four can experience together. He is referring to content like massive raids and so on, to which Mark replied that there wouldn't be at launch. Another fan tweets in regards to modding their javelin, and if they can't improve the power or mod it, will everyone deal the same set damage output? Mark states that gear will determine the power of the suit as well as the damage output. If you all didn't already know, I am a huge art collector. My home is littered with just about every art style from contemporary to portraits, abstract, and even gaming art. As per the usual, I am blown away with the art that Laz continuously creates for Anthem, and I'm especially enjoying the minimalistic design design of his most recent pieces. I'll leave a link in the description below for you all to download these images in 4K for either your desktop or phone's wallpaper. Shadowman210 tweets if there will be activity in the game that drops the best gear or multiple activities to add variety. Mark states that different activities are optimal for different things. I'm assuming he means that different activities will be optimal for getting certain weapons, gear, and so on, but that's just my guess. Another fan tweets Mark asking if there will be field reports at the end of group content such as missions or strongholds that report on who dealt the most damage, kill counts, and so on for each member of the team. Mark replied that there will be end of mission stats, which will definitely bring a fun competitive edge to Anthem group play. Zach tweets if there will be scopes in Anthem as he and many other freelancers play styles fit more in line with marksmen. Mark replied that there will be guns with scopes. I'd imagine these scoped weapons would be something similar to snipers, DMRs, and so on. The Good Egg tweets if cosmetic changes such as different helmets, for example, change the hitbox shape and size of our javelins. Mark's reply says it all as usual. Isaac tweets if there will be purchasable real-world Anthem merch, to which Mark replied that there will be more than likely. Speaking of Anthem merch, be sure to check out Laz's merch shop for some awesome Anthem goodies with his artwork on them. They range from shirts, to bags, or even mugs and notebooks. I've already ordered a few long sleeve shirts and a mug that I can't wait to rock. As I was editing this video, he has also just added the General Helena Tarsus and Minimalistic Javelins to the bunch. Laz, you have just made my day and made my wallet a little thinner. Be sure to check his stuff out, links will be in the description, and every purchase goes towards supporting more of his art. A fan tweets if there will be any activities in Anthem with randomly occurring enemies for a refreshing element of surprise. Mark replied that there would be. Our last tweet from Mark comes from David Oeon, who tweets if there will be an option or skill that will allow you to have prolonged flight inside your javelin, such as less overheating for lighter javelins or something similar. Mark replied that it's a freelancer skill, so something like that would affect all javelins. And now our last tweet comes from Fort Tarsus Radio. I mentioned before that I've been working with Anthem Community on their Anthem Radio podcast, which the first episode went live last week. A link will be in the description below. I'll be hosting that podcast a little longer, or at least until they find a new host. Once they do, I'll be hosting and producing the Fort Tarsus Radio podcast on your Anthem. Think of it like our IGN's fire team chat for Anthem once the game releases. Anyways guys, that's all for now. Are there any questions you'd like for us to ask Mark Dara and the rest of the dev team? Are there any questions we can answer for you all in the comment section below? Let us know, and as ever, I hope you all have a phenomenal day, and can't wait to see all you fantastic freelancers in the next one. Peace out, everyone.